welcome to the Julie's World vlog. I'm so glad that you're here. So this week, what is happening this week? So many things. Um, my dad's Magic Lantern show, which is really exciting. Magic Lanterns are a pre-cinema optical device, meaning it was a projector that was before movies were even thought of, and it projected these glass slides, so that was really fun to see. Um, there's a curatorial tour at the MFA of the Matisse in the Studio exhibit, which I won by posting a photo on Instagram for this contest the MFA was having, so that was super fun. And then there's just more 100 faces, which, guys, I am so tired of this project and I have thought about giving it up a million times but I have persevered and I feel like I'm I'm in the home stretch now um and just you know the usual hijinks and everything so thank you as always for your comments and your likes and for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it and I've got a special bonus treat for you this week I'm gonna have a little mini vlog that I'm gonna post maybe tomorrow or Friday um I got my first stitch fix and I wanted to share sort of my thoughts on that so thanks so much and enjoy the ride so today is my last class at the MFA, so I'm carrying all my stuff, and uh, I think it's going to be a good day. Gussied up. I'm headed out to um, see my dad do a Magic Lantern show at the Harvard Art Museum. It's been a long time since maybe I was a, a kid, really, since I've seen him do a show. So um, I saw the preview last week, which you would have seen in last week's vlog, but I'm really excited, except for the fact that it's starting to rain. So I've got my umbrella and I'm ready for the weather. <laughs> So this is the wonders of digital images you can create and effect that actually you can create in the 19th century. So this is actually a, uh, a print from 1800. It was called Cubist Magic of Lantern. I figured I could name it after myself. <laughs> it's a little too much noise. <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> a whole new batch of scan and cut videos in the last two days. I feel pretty good. We came up with a bunch of good ideas and the more that we do of these, the better we get at them. So I hope that you will check them out because I think you're going to enjoy them. What a beautiful day. I'm just sitting on my front porch waiting for my mom and my brother to pick me up for dinner and the sun is shining and it makes me feel happy. seems to almost take on a personality like the maid and it seems to be dancing maybe with the soup tureen. It seems to be getting even closer to the soup tureen here. And then, and this is one of the only still lifes and one of the only paintings that we have by Matisse in which you see any of the African figures or masks from his collection appear and recognize so much more sculptural. They divide them into sections, almost into geometric sections. They add muscularity and force to the figure. She becomes a much more kind of moving figure. She's much more powerful in feel than a figure like this. And she has a mask-like face. 
and a painting of his that was based on this figure was actually burned in effigy. So somebody made a copy of it and burned it in Chicago because they thought it was so important. It was kind of ethnographic magazine. It was actually based on a lot of, filled with a lot of misinformation about women of the world. So types of women from all sorts of so it's all exotic places outside of France. Strung them up on pulley systems. And even have models dress up as if they were odalisks in North Africa. So it's this kind of fantasy world, almost like film sets. There seems to be a kind of mythical story among many art students. But there is a Chinese artist who teaches his students that the way to draw a tree is by growing up with the tree from its roots. And Matisse loved the story. And that's why they're very lightly glued down. And they come on in closer. They retain this really light sense as if they're almost going to float off the paper. OK, so let's see what's in the bag. So this is a blank book. Very pretty. And then money. It says $25 on it. But $25. <laughs> Uh, and thank you, card. <sighs> this is my sad face. I'm cleaning today. Uh, not my favorite task, but necessary. The house is a disaster. Um, so I'm doing like a first initial go over where I just try to like put things where they go. And then hopefully I will do a like deeper clean and purge of stuff. I'm trying to be a little bit merciless about throwing stuff away. Um, but yeah, if the house actually gets clean at any time, you know, I've never done like a tour of this house even since I moved. So maybe I'll give you a little peek into where, where, what I live. No, what, where I live <laughs> looks like. Can you tell I'm tired? Anyway, yeah, I got to do that. <laughs> okay. So the dishwasher's going, things are sort of getting clean like there's actual floor space um slowly but surely i'm making the clean happen oh and i found a lipstick which i had to try on to see if i like the color so i just got an awesome care package from um sandra evertson who uh is the owner of and creator of relics and artifacts really cool stuff but she sent a bunch of her beautiful um relics and artifacts pieces, and then a copy of Where Women Cook magazine, which I think will be fun to poke through and peek into people's kitchens and all their yummy food. And then this awesome little ornament here, which has, of course, my favorite, an eyeball. Super cute. Why is it that when I come into Target for toilet paper, I walk out with a cart full of stuff, plus toilet paper? So I thought I would show you the two quilts that I entered in the quilt show. So this is the one that I stayed up all night making, which is actually an amalgamation of a couple different um, pieces sort of all stitched together. I think it's, um, I call it, it's less of a quilt and more kind of a mixed media stitch piece is the way that I would put it. And now I can see that it's also super crooked. It's hanging on the wall. If I turn the camera though, now it looks straighter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's kind of an interesting, weird piece, but it has this big dimensional part on it. Um, and then this is the other piece that I put in the show. And this quilt is actually based on spam email that I got. So all around here are bits of um, raw edge applique, but then you can see that it's all spam emails that I got, including the big saying on it make your hoses rate is great. I thought they were really funny, so I wanted to make them into a quilt. Okay, so my place is mostly, and I do say mostly, like actually clean. It's kind of amazing. Um, I turned the table to face the window just to give a little more space in here. This is actually a scanning cut project that I'm working on, but look at all this floor space that's clear. Um, the little living room area. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I think I actually managed to really do this. I got the gift, two gifts of flowers this week. I feel like I'm the luckiest girl in the world. <laughs>
a lot of you had questions yesterday about this. This product is Frisket Film. It's from Graphics. You can buy it at any like art supply store, okay? Um, and some of you thought it might be paper because you saw me drawing on it, but that drawing is done actually on the paper backing. So it's it's actually two parts. There's a paper backing, and then the actual Frisket Film is this kind of clear. There you go, clear stuff. It's adhesive on one side. So you just put it onto whatever you want to mask off, and then you can write, draw, whatever it is over it, um, and the adhesive keeps it in place, and then you just peel it off when it's done. It's low tack, so it should come off of most papers. I love to use it. I think it's awesome. It's from Graphics. Use it all the time. So now that the weather is nice, it's a pleasure to go out for a walk in the evening, and you get to see all sorts of fun stuff, and I love looking at all the houses and trying to guess like the stories of them. And I brought an umbrella, which is a guarantee that it won't rain. But of course, if I hadn't brought it, guess what? It would pour. Oh, yeah. It's Taco Saturday night. That's right. And it involves arugula at my house. So sometimes it's really hard for me to share things like this that um, seem really unfinished on Instagram because I feel like, oh, my gosh, this is such a hot mess. And is this people going to think, um, what are people going to think of me when I share this kind of work? But then I realized that's important to share your process because, you know, if we look at Instagram and everything is so perfect and everybody's art is so amazing, you think, oh my gosh, I'm so untalented. How did everybody arrive like that? But then you remember, you know what? It's all a process. We're all in the trenches. We all have like beginnings and fits and starts. And so that's why I do share the process. That's why I do share the videos. That's why I do tell all those things. That's why I do show up in my lovely glasses and all that kind of stuff because you know we're not all perfect beautiful amazing artists at every so moment. I texted mom and I said do you want to go for a walk and she was kind of like mm, not so much what did you say you said you don't like hot no I just said where no she said and then when I came over she said she doesn't like hot and she doesn't like outside but now that you're on it how are you feeling it's hot outside <laughs> thanks so much for watching the Julie's World vlog I'll see you next week <laughs>